hello and welcome to excellent link academy for today we'll be considering um a topic called partial fraction but for today we're discussing about the rule two that guides partial fraction we have done a video to explain the rule one guiding partial fraction or perhaps we have done an introduction to partial fraction so i'll drop the link in the description of this video so check the description of this video you see a link there to our first class on rule one so let's dive into rule two what does rule two says rule two says that if the factor <coughs> if the factor of the denominator are linear but repeated in the form ax plus b or to power or squared so if the factor of the denominator are linear but repeated in the form this hence the partial fraction of the form a over ax plus b plus b over ax plus b squared exists so it means that i'm having um a factor in which the denominator are repeated in this form so the partial fraction general form will become a over a s plus b plus b over a s plus b square so this exists so um when it comes to root 2 if the factor of the denominator are linear but what they repeated in this case here hence the partial fraction of the form becomes a over a s plus b plus b over a s plus b all squared as you can see all right let's take an example to further explain um this concept here example one example one resolve x over x squared minus 2x minus 1 into partial fraction all right i'm told to resolve x all over x squared minus 2x minus 1 um into partial fraction what do you do in this case how do you resolve this we said when it comes to resolving what's your first tax your first tax now look up the difference between um rule one and rule two is that for rule one the uh, factor are linear just a s plus b for rule two they are linear but what they repeated now the same system of solving or perhaps the same technique of solving applies to everything but the different the, the difference there is what for rule one the different there is what for rule one i have ax plus b just a s plus b for rule two i have the repeated one squared so um the tax now is that for my first tax here solution my first tax is what consider denominator So if I consider the denominator, I have um, x squared minus 2x minus 1. My first tax is to take this one back to what? Quadratic equation, right? So I'll take this one here back to what? Quadratic equation, sorry. Yes, I'll apply quadratic equation concept here. So I'll get the two roots. My two roots are x minus 1, x minus 1. If you solve this one here, you solve this question here using quadratic formula or perhaps complete square method or perhaps factorization method you have two roots which is x minus one x minus one as your root so observe that observe that in mathematics if i have a multiply a that gives what the a squared something multiplying that same thing will give that thing squared so a multiply a will give a squared similarly x minus 1 multiply x minus 1 we finally give x minus 1 all squared all right so this means that observe please this means that i'm having what the a repeated factor as denominator now so it means that to write out the general the general form 
of the partial fraction will, 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 will be written as I'll have x all over x all over x squared minus 2x minus 1 to be equal to the form becomes this is repeated so i'll have a all over x minus 1 plus b all over x minus 1 all squared as we have we have established earlier here all right at this point here what's your next tax my next tax will find the lcm of the of the right hand side so lcm of the equation on the right hand side so this means that i'll have x all over x squared minus 2x minus 1 to be equal to looking for lcm now look up please let me let me explain something let's say i have look up let's say i have um 4 over I have 4 over a plus um 3 over a squared and i'm trying to find the lcm here what's the concept a and a squared are the same thing a is a a is a but these are the same thing which will which will i pick as the i spar the one with the i'm uh, sorry which will i which will i pick as the lcm so i'll pick the one with what the is power which is a squared as my lcm let's say i have 4 over b plus 3 over b squared plus 6 over b cube i'm trying to find lcm here observe that b b b are the same thing but my lcm becomes what the one with what is power that's b cube that's the condition here so i'm having x minus 1 x minus 1 squared the one with the highest power is simply what the x minus 1 squared. So it means that if I divide x minus 1 squared by x minus 1, I will be left with what? 1x minus 1. So if I have x minus 1 all squared dividing x minus 1, this will cancel out this, but left with what? One of this again. This is in two places, left with 1. So that 1 that is left, multiply it by a, I will have a into x minus 1. This is a plus sign plus if this one cancel this that's one one times b becomes b or perhaps into one if you want to x minus one square divided by x minus one squared that's give one so one multiplied by b i have this here so it means that from here if i expand um expanding right if i expand bracket or perhaps open bracket i'll have x all over x squared minus 2x minus 1 to be equal in value to a times x is ax observe minus a times 1 we give a plus b times 1 we give b so all so all over x minus 1 all squared at this point here my next stack obviously is to what equate numerator so equating numerator so I'll have x to be equal to ax minus a plus b as in this case all right after equating numerator my next stack is to collect like terms but in this case here like it's already arranged properly so what my next tax now? My next tax is what compare coefficient. So comparing coefficient. If I compare coefficient, what do I mean? Start for I'm seeing x and constant term. So for x, for x, observe please. For x, if I check here, the coefficient of x here is one. So I'll have one. To be equal to the coefficient of x is a one to be equal to a call this equation one for constant now let me call c constant let me just put c for constant now if i check here i don't have any constant term here that becomes zero to be equal to my constant here becomes minus a then stop plus b call this equation two so i will solve equation one and two using simultaneous equation concept
right? So if I solve equation one and equation two, applying Semtonus equation concept, what do I have? What do I have? Observe clearly, please. Observe that my equation one is already is already direct. My equation one, or equation one says that a is one. So I know that a from equation one is clear that a from equation one is clear that a is equal to one as you can see so it means that my next answer gets b so um from equation two from equation two what do i have i have that a zero is equal to minus a plus b take minus a here becomes a if minus a crosses the equality sign becomes plus a which is a which is equal to b but we just said a is equal to one so i put one here so one is equal to b so therefore b is equal to one so i've got my answer for a and b so i'll put a and b into the partial fraction general form which is this um yes this one here so i'll put a and b here so it means that if i resolve x over x squared minus 2x minus 1 into partial fraction i'll have a what's a a is 1 so i'll have 1 all over x minus 1 next up plus what's b b is 1 to 1 over x minus 1 all squared so this is my answer after resolving that question into partial fraction so this is how it works all right have to explain this concept next class we'll try to take another example next class we'll try to take um several other examples to further explain the concept behind root 2 right so if you found this class helpful do well to share to your classmates friends and um do well to like hit the discussion button and um, share the video via and um, if you have any question you can simply um put the question in the comment section below i'll reply you as fast as i can or you send me a direct message to my whatsapp right so See you in the next class.